Today we're here with our patient Beth and we're going to talk about Softwave because she has a treatment coming up. But before we get started, I just want Beth to kind of tell us sort of why she's seeking out Softwave for her face areas. Um, I have a lot of sun damage and I wanted to have a procedure where I don't have much downtime or any downtime mm -hmm. and I'm concerned about uh, my wrinkles and fine lines. So that's why I was interested in getting this uh, procedure done. Great, great. So I'm just going to kind of show everybody sort of what we're going to treat today. So if you look, you know, very characteristic of Southern California, just some fine lines and wrinkles of around the mouth, the upper lip area. Go ahead and smile for us, Beth, there. And, you know, just around the eyes. And, and Botox helps these, but still, you know, just the sun damage and so on. And she's even got some here on her forehead. So today we will place numbing cream. Uh, all over the face and uh, you know right along to the jawline we'll put some saran wrap on there which we'll show you in a few minutes then we're going to treat these areas and we're going to really help her with her fine lines and wrinkles so we're going to get ready and, and get going soon okay great so whenever we do these treatments for our patients we always talk about expectations so i want to tell you a little bit about that um, this isn't like a facelift where you look at your before and after and say like wow that's like a whole new face so and a lot of people just like you don't want to have a facelift or don't have the downtime so this is going to be a procedure that has subtle changes that just kind of helps smooth out and tone the skin the nice thing is you're not going to have any blistering or any downtime so tomorrow you can be back at work in the or you don't have to worry about that and it's just going to help with fine lines and wrinkles and what this does is it sends a lot of energy just into your uh, dermis of your skin and it's going to help that collagen regenerate so you just get a toning and smoothing out of the skin surface so that's the nice thing about the procedure today we'll put numbing cream on you'll have some discomfort but right when the procedure is done that goes away so it's not like you're going to be in pain tonight or anything and you'll have a little bit of redness of the skin and that's just from the inflammation you'll see tomorrow your skin will look better and that's usually a result of the inflammation and then in about a couple of weeks that's when it really starts kicking so it's, it's a pretty amazing technology. Most of our patients will have one to two treatments a year. So, you know, maybe one every 12 months or one every six months. It's not permanent. Nothing we do in plastic surgery is permanent. So you have to kind of do a little maintenance, but it's a, it's a really nice way to just keep your skin looking the best you can. I'm applying the numbing cream with the time depressor on the face. And I try to cover everywhere. So it's going to be the plaster is going to be more comfortable for the patient and it's gonna stay on the face for like 60 minutes and then we start the procedure. After applying the numbing cream, I'm gonna apply the occlusive dressing so it's gonna help the numbing cream absorb faster to the skin so it's gonna make the procedure more comfortable for the patient. We apply it to each area and it also help uh, to prevent dripping of the numbing cream. ultrasound gel on the forehead area. I start with the forehead area and then I go to the mid face. First I apply gel to the forehead and then when I am done with the treatment on this area, I go to the next area. And I'm going to start uh, on 3.2 joules and then gradually go up. I ask the patient first how is she doing to see how is the pain level and then I gradually go up. Did you okay? Okay. Right. I, that was fine. I, yeah, I did feel a little bit. But how is the pain from 0 to 10? How is the pain level? It's between a 2 and a 3. Okay, now if the pain is not that much, so I can go higher than it. I'm going to go to 2.4. Continue with 3.6 on the forehead. Today I'm going to do three passes, two horizontal and one vertical. 
and on the same level 3.6 because patient can tolerate the pain on this level and then for the mid phase I'm gonna go higher a little bit to see if the patient can tolerate the pain otherwise I'm gonna go lower for the settings now I'm gonna I, I'm done with the horizontal I'm gonna do vertical but like for the second pass I'm, I apply more gel so it's gonna be more comfortable for the patient I'm gonna apply more gel on this area too Are you ready? Yes. We're doing okay? Mm-hmm. How is the pain from 0 to 10? Um, I don't know, like maybe a 9, 8, 9. It goes away so fast though, so that wasn't bad. I finished with the forehead, I did three passes on 3.6 energy level and then I did I use like 51 passes for the forehead and then after I applied the gel to the mid face area, I'm gonna do three passes too. For the mid face, I'm gonna start with the four joules to see how the patient can tolerate the pain and then we can gradually increase. Okay, ready? Ready. Can I start from here? Can you turn it higher or not? This is the big um, I think this is good. Okay. My plan is to do three passes and she's doing good on four. So I'm going to stay on the four tools. And then I do like two horizontal and one vertical on the mid face area. We finished with the treatment. As you can see, there are some like redness on the face, which is going to go away after like 60 minutes to two hours. And then we have like some serum here, Hydra Balance Serum, which is gonna help with the redness. And how do you feel after the treatment? How was the treatment? The treatment was really good. Um, was it painful or? No, it wasn't bad at all. I felt warmth or okay. as you said, spiciness um, in certain places, but it really wasn't that painful at all. I'm gonna apply some Hydra solution on the face and I massage it to the face, it's gonna hydrate the skin and it helps with the redness. As you can see, the redness is almost gone, but this is gonna help too.